So we've been talking about the nativity story. Sean, what is your favorite character of the nativity story? I think um, it's hard because there's so many good characters, mm -hmm. but I think uh, I think I probably maybe not relate to, but look up to Joseph mm -hmm. in the story a lot. I think okay. good, yeah, good. Well, at least it wasn't one of the animals, so that's a good. That's good true. Sign. So, the yeah. cows, the cows, pretty good too. <laughs> so yeah, for me, it's 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 the shepherds in the story. And Luke chapter number two kind of reveals the idea of the shepherd. Really, shepherds are some of the most overlooked people in the Bible. And yet, many of the stories from the Bible revolve around the idea of, a, of God using a shepherd, probably because uh, God himself is likened to our shepherd. But the shepherds in this story, they play an intricate role. Shepherds were usually the last group of people to find out anything that was happening in the town. You know, perhaps they were out in the fields while all the news was circulating in the city and they may hear it, you know, by the last person. Or perhaps they were even out in the fields for weeks on a, at, a, at a time and they were tending their flocks, which kept them away from people normally. Yet. In the nativity story, the shepherds become some of the most important characters. We see the shepherds are the first to hear of the birth of Jesus. They are the first to visit baby Jesus. They are the first to go into the towns and proclaim that Jesus has been born. And they, are, they come back to the nativity scene just rejoicing and singing and glorifying God in the highest, as the story tells us. And that story of the shepherds, you know, what we're seeing is this joy that's surrounding the birth of Christ. And uh, I hope that you guys have pretty much completed your Christmas plans. We're only a couple days out um, from Christmas, but I hope that in the busyness of the season, you haven't forgotten the joy that's associated with this time where we really um, get to celebrate the birth of Jesus. And of course, in the birth of Jesus, we're also celebrating all the things that Jesus has done and uh, the, the fact that God showed his love to us in this way. I, I, I wanna invite you guys, you know, there's only a couple days left. Don't forget to make time mm -hmm. to be with Jesus during this time, to spend time in his word. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to, um, don't forget to, to tell him how, how joyful it makes you mm -hmm that he came and that he loved you in the way that he loved you. Uh, I think that's so, so impor important. And of course, um, as, you're, as you're celebrating with your family, I wanna remind you that if you click out of this video on our website, or if you click the link in the description of this video, you can find a great family Advent activity to do with your kids. If you have kids at home, that's a great way to uh, stop and remember with them uh, Jesus and what he did for us. And so, and we wanna invite you, you know, we're, our next video, we're gonna do another video on Christmas. So make sure that you're subscribed with your notifications on so you can see that video when it drops. But we're just gonna be reading the Christmas story. We think it's so important that on this holiday, we do spend time with loved ones, but we also take some time to remember what Christmas is all about, right? The birth of Jesus. And so we're gonna be reading the Christmas story on Christmas. We wanna invite you guys to check out that video, maybe even make it a part of your celebration. But before we even get to that, at the end of this video, we have just a little, uh, a little part where we're going to take a moment to think about, to meditate on the fact that Jesus brings such great joy during the season. So I want you to take a, just a quick moment in your schedule. I'm sure you've got a lot of things to do, but if you take just a minute to kind of read the scripture on the screen and just meditate on the fact that Jesus has brought us such great joy, I, I, I don't think that you'll be disappointed. I think it'll be worth your time just to remind yourself of the joy that Jesus is bringing this season.